and this is an example one and uh, the same uh, uh, syntax we'll be using like document class and article class will be using it and uh, we'll begin document and end document so in a previous case we have got the uh, two words called hello world but uh, here does a sentence like this is my second tech document if you notice that like this is kind of a pretty interesting thing so slash capital T small e and capital X so what are that is is all called inbuilt commands that that prints the uh, special character or special uh, words like for example slash tech will bring us this output T E X it's called tech and it's probably the um, interesting thing uh, that you can do it with this prob uh, with this uh, words or with this the inbuilt command but if you notice that we have not quite got the output quite correct so do you find any mistake in the output pause the video and think about that and just let me know hello if you got it congratulations if you don't get it it still is fine the error in this is like for example the inbuilt command like tech and the other uh, word called document has got no space so that is and pretty much an, um, the problem associated with this uh, LaTeX so if you intended to give any um, uh, what do you call inbuilt command then will be uh, intent I mean it will be have to uh, giving us uh, some space not a physical space I mean this is also has a space in between but then it gets uh, uh, what called uh, amalgamated or combined together so to eradicate that so we'll be giving it a small slash I mean the slash that will uh, give us a space between this uh, inbuilt command and followed by the the next word so it doesn't give anything uh, I mean this doesn't stands for the space between this and this but this is the inbuilt it represents the inbuilt command uh, if you typeset it without this uh, slash, let's see when we do in a tech maker. So, but if we typeset it without any slash, and it'll just print it as a what do you call a word or a text. But if you do it with the inbuilt command, you'll get this kind of output. So, I'm gonna minimize this, and I'll go to the tech maker. So, I'll open the tech maker. I'm gonna create this, and uh, the initially is document class. As I as I told you, we don't have any options. We can give options, but as of uh, this being a small or a simplified example, so we don't give any uh, options. Then uh, begin document and end document. I'm gonna give some space. It's absolutely not necessary. You can even give it without spacing. It still work. But uh, if you have a longer code, and then it'll be necessary to give some space so that you'll understand which of the things that. Uh, I mean the sequence of it is like is pretty much clear when you have a lot of space and this is uh, my second I'm gonna give the tech without the um, what you call the inbuilt command kind of thing and uh, give a document full stop I'm gonna save uh, I'm gonna save this control s and I'm gonna save it as like second document you see that I've initially I've first in the first document I don't have any space in the name and I'm gonna give the space say for the second document so I think all these things we have discussed in the uh, saving a file so I'm just uh, giving it a quick look at it I saved it and if I compile it and where is the output oh yeah here it is this is my second tech document if you notice that this is kind of a text that we print without any uh, what you call um, it doesn't have any reference to the actual tech which the Donald net has developed so just a word called tech or this is also called text as I told you like textile short form of textile something like that but this is not we intended to print so we wanted to print it by the slash so I'm gonna put a slash between and if you see when I put a slash the color of this gets changed so which means that this is kind of an inbuilt command so now it, it latex differentiates this from the regular text so I'm gonna save with control s and when I compile it yeah 
I probably should have got the um, where's the document I'll just see yeah here it is so this is what I intended to print but I got it but it's still an error so there isn't any space uh, but actually there are some uh, not very uh, what do you call it? Uh, a very um, legitimate space uh, like this but uh, it has got um, small space in between so we wanted to keep everything in the uh, same uh, I mean similar fashion so I'm gonna give a slash after this so that will make up uh, the space between this so just record this in your mind so I'm gonna go to the tech maker and I'm not gonna give any other thing except the slash so when I give the slash when I give control S and I'm gonna give open so if you see the space has automatically happened so similar to tech there is another command called LaTeX also. So for that, we're gonna uh, for this moment I'll just delete everything. So I'll just start start in between capital L, capital small A, and capital T, small E, capital X, and the slash to differentiate. I mean to give a space between the inbuilt command and the uh, next word. I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna compile this. And you see, this is my second LaTeX document you see how beautiful this is tech is what we have done early but LaTeX will give us the the exact um, LaTeX uh, uh, notation and uh, one more time I'll just close this for a moment and there's another thing called LaTeX E which stands for the version 2 so I'll give a control S and I'm gonna compile this yes here it is, it stands for LaTeX 2 Epsilon, so which means that it's version 2 and uh, probably we have discussed about this in the previous lectures and this is the second documentation that you can do it in the LaTeX Maker using LaTeX. So I hope you enjoyed this and uh, we have a challenge as well. So similar to uh, the previous video, so we have got the challenge. I'm going to full screen this. And this is the um, output for the example one. So this is the exercise one. So print the following sentences in, I um, mean sentence in LaTeX. This is my second uh, LaTeX document or you can have a two sentence. Like for example, this is my second LaTeX document. Uh, full stop, in fact, comma, LaTeX version two document. So if you could print this uh, sentences in LaTeX, and that will be of very good. So I'll pause the video, kindly update in your tech maker and do let me know. And welcome back and uh, hope you have done your exercise one uh, for this uh, particular documentation. And uh, if, if you have done, uh, if you achieved uh, the output, the intended output, congratulations. But if you have any problem, you can write it to me. I'll just provide the possible solutions. But as uh, if you have followed the lecture carefully from the beginning, you will not have any problem in typesetting this. And let's see the solution. And this is the solution, the document class and article class and uh, begin document and document. So this is my second slash L capital A small T capital E small X capital and this last to give a space between this in bulk command the next word full stop in fact comma then the same thing with a with an addition of e which which will provide an output of two epsilon and document full stop so in case you've got it very good so we'll just see that in tech maker as well i'm going to minimize this so this is my second the tech document and in fact, LaTeX also do some auto correction. For example, if I type in in fact, it will show me an error like a Microsoft Word. So the underlined uh, line tells me that this is not a correct word. So it just when I right click it, it gives me a list of other, uh, I mean, similar uh, terms that um, that are associated uh, with this term. And uh, in this case, is in fact. Then I'm gonna click this, and uh, in fact, 
I'm going to type in let tag e document full stop. So control s to save this and when I could build it and we'll have this. Yeah, here it is. This is my second LaTeX document. In fact, LaTeX version 2 document. And this is the end of the lecture and I hope you enjoyed this and we are just building up our um, uh, knowledge in LaTeX and uh, so far we have compiled two documents and two documents if you have done perfectly correct then you will not have any problem in compiling any of the document in the future lectures but if you have any problems you can write it to me but as of now you should not have any problem and if you have any problem just write it to me and thank you so much for listening and have a great day